Welcome to the Rich Club channel. Please watch the video to the end and if you like it, support the channel with a like and subscribe. Let's go. In this video, you will learn why XRP will rise to $10. So before the video starts, write in the comments how much the XRP token will cost in a month. To the one who guesses, we will transfer 1000 tokens. You will also need to like and subscribe. Press the bell so you don't miss your profit in it again. The SEC also named Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and Executive Chairman Chris Larson as co-defendants for allegedly aiding and abetting Ripple's violations. The lawsuit is currently in its discovery phase, with the second Ripple battling over the information to be shared with the other side. Fact discovery and expert discovery are to be completed by August 31 and October 15 respectively. Separately, XRP holders have asked the court to include them as third-party defendants in the lawsuit, arguing that the SEC is not adequately representing their interests. In her ruling, U.S. Magistrate Judge Sarah Netburn who is presiding over discovery in the SEC v. Ripple Labs lawsuit noted that SEC has already begun to produce documents related to Ripple's earlier requests for internal agency communications about Bitcoin, Ether, and XRP from the agency's FinHub electronic mailbox as well as from its Office of Investor Education Advocacy. A judge has granted Ripple's request to force the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to reveal its non-public policies regarding whether agency employees may buy and sell XRP and other cryptocurrencies, according to a screenshot of a new legal filing shared by the lawyer representing XRP holders. Last December, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple alleging that a sale of XRP was an unregistered securities offering worth over U.S. $1.38 billion. They are represented by attorney John Deaton, who shared a portion of the latest SEC v Ripple court document in a tweet. Ripple's growth has slowed in large part due to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's lawsuit against the company, but it is pushing ahead to expand its payments business globally, said Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse today, at the Consensus by Coindesk 2021 conference taking place this week. The update was first revealed by attorney James K. Filan, who noted that the individual defendant's motion for issuance of letters of request for international judicial assistance was granted by Judge Sarah Netburn, that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission lacks jurisdiction over the sales of XRP which majorly took place in other countries. In Southeast Asia, one of our fastest growing segments, we see activity growth 10x year on year, Garlinghouse said. The company saw 40% quarter-on-quarter growth in terms of transactions across the network last year. Following the SEC lawsuit, many U.S. exchanges delisted XRP, and MoneyGram, the world's second-largest money transfer service, also suspended its partnership with Ripple. MoneyGram and Ripple had a consequential relationship of about a couple billion dollars of on-demand liquidity transactions, Garlinghouse said. We paused that partnership in hopes of getting regulatory clarity. Unfortunately, it moves slowly, Garlinghouse added. I'm hopeful that as a new SEC administration comes it sees that there's an opportunity to kind of revisit some of the previous administration's decisions. But growth slowed after the SEC filed its lawsuit against Ripple in December 2020, alleging that its sale of XRP was an unregistered securities offering worth over US $1.38 billion. It's really the first time the SEC has been ordered by a court to be transparent about this. All we've asked for, for two to three years, is that regulatory clarity, and so I think this is progress. Investors are now questioning if XRP futures will ever be able to recover to a multi-billion market. Were April's figures inflated by excessive leverage, or is it just a matter of time until it rebounds to the previous levels? It would seem that no other day is complete without a major development in the ongoing case between Ripple Labs and the SEC. In what is the latest such update, the court has approved Ripple's request seeking help for getting XRP information from a list of cryptocurrency exchanges based offshore. Earlier this month, Ripple sought the SEC's policies governing SEC employees trading in, or purchase or sale of, digital assets and virtual currencies, including all changes and updates to those policies. How much will XRP cost at the end of 2021? Write your opinion in the comments, and do not forget about the likes.